Uh, 19 and 4 Spring Lake Park and 17 and 5 Park Center. Getting into the action. Park Center coming to Panther Territory for this one. Inside feed to start. Detavius Frierson scores from the low block. 17 points for him. Here pass to the right wing, David Ejadimbola. He buries the three. 21 points for Ejadimbola. Here, Ejadimbola will miss. It happened. Blake Remy in transition finds Jacob Say, who connects for three of his 10 points. You mentioned Daydor Phillips with 15 points in your yeah. game. He did well in this one. Phillips oh, yeah. goes isolation, scores the bucket. He had 11 on the night. Panthers love to run. Outlet pass here to Jacob Say. He doesn't Ooh. like to run as much as the rest of the team, so he just shoots it from there. Pirates had a productive trio in this game. Joshua Brown, the third musketeer. He's as smooth and sweet as chocolatey nougat. Did you see that three? Oh, yeah. 20 points for him. And John Bola hoop for two. SLP down 12 at the half. Here, outlet ahead to Gabe Myron. To the rack to stack two points on his point total. He had 17 in this one. Unselfish basketball by the Panthers. Phillips finishes in the end off the hesitation. More passing for points as Myron scores in transition. Panthers pulled within four with six minutes to go. But late floater here from Frierson. They did not let go to Park Center. More running the floor. This is Caleb Skelly to Myron for the alley-oop. Dunk. No, it was a layup. SLP within five with two minutes to go. Brown's baseline J finishes this one off though. A 70 to 59 win for the Park Center Pirates. I talked about the trio. They did almost all of the scoring. So 21, 20, and 17. On the other side for Spring Lake Park, who actually had 59 points. Yeah, and you know what also looks strange on here is yeah. Dane Danger, only four points. He's their leading scorer. Yeah, so Spring Lake Park did some good things defensively. Yeah, he's a big guy, and he's a, he's really good around the basket. Uh, Myron did most of the scoring for the Panthers with 17. Phillips had 11, Say with 10. I mean, more balanced scoring, you could say, but not of enough of it with uh, the Panthers falling by 11, despite what the graphic shows. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fix it in post. Yeah. And if you like graphics, you're going to enjoy the rest of this show. Boys Hoops, Blaine, well, they defeated Coon Rapids. They've done it again. 69-62. The Bengals win. They'll be at Titino on the 24th and then at Anoka the 28th. The Cougars, after uh, getting another win on the season, they beat Anoka before losing to Maple Grove. We got Armstrong and Titino Grace the rest of this week. And the Panthers. Well, we, we saw what they did. Up next for them, Adenoka and, you know, somebody else. If you look at the standings, I'm looking we're at getting them. close to the end of the season. So these are going to play a factor, not a direct factor, but a factor Indirect in choosing factor? which teams IF? play who in the section tournament. Yeah. 